I know what you're thinking. How did we end up here? And why is her face green? Well, today we're going to do the one color makeup challenge. So come hang out with me and see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so right now I'm just going to put on my primer because the rules of the game say that I can use my normal color for primer, foundation, concealer, etc., etc. But everything else I do, I'm going to use a green for, but also not like just one shade of green. I'm going to use several different colors of green so that I'm at least not totally, well, I guess I'm still going to be monochromatic. And maybe you're asking yourself, why did she choose green? Well, it was a good debate that I had with myself and then invited my husband to join and we decided that purple was too normal and frankly I think that blue would make me look dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with green and I'm expecting to look like a fish, swamp thing, the creature from the Black Lagoon, you know, something weird. Okay, so at this point, I would generally put on my contour. So let me find a green that's going to work for some contour. Oh, Lord. Okay, so I've got this Revolution palette here. The color is called Leaves, and I've never seen a blue leaf, so I'm assuming that this is okay. What am I even doing to myself? Seriously, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so going to look like a fish. <laughs> I'll look like a mermaid, you guys. I don't know. Maybe I could, like, inspire someone's mermaid Halloween makeup. Could you imagine if I went out like this? Okay, I already look absolutely insane, and I still need to do my nose. <laughs> so I know you guys might have noticed that my videos can sometimes be a little irregular. And I have a good reason for that. I swear. See, I've mentioned it before, and I'm going to mention it again. I have fibromyalgia, along with a whole bunch of other random ass shit. So sometimes it's like I feel too bad, or I'm in too much pain, and I just can't get in front of the camera for at least a few days. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer, which is probably just going to make me look 10 times crazier. In my head, I was all, nah, I can make this look cute. It'll be all right. But I'm already like not so sure. <laughs> Do the little nose me. Okay, I think the nose is the biggest problem so far on this face. <laughs> I should try to blend it with the concealer a little more so I don't have like Smurf nose. But there's nothing good about this. So in fact, I went to my new OMT yesterday to get adjusted and cracked and thrown around. And he was poking at my back and was like, did anybody ever tell you that you have fibromyalgia? To which I'm like, sir, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia like several years ago. It's kind of why I'm here. And he was all like, oh, yeah, because every time I touch you... You, like, jump off the table, and I'm barely even touching you. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I feel it. Then he also told me that I had some kind of syndrome that makes the muscle in my butt wrap around my sciatica and hurts. What am I even doing? <laughs> this is just not going well. It's just, it's, it's really bad. Okay, I need to find a green that is light enough and shimmery enough to use as a highlighter. I guess. Let me use this right here. We'll see what happens. I don't think it's gonna be good. No, nope. I mean, if you want green highlighter, this sure does the job. I feel like I'm quietly mapping out where to put makeup. <laughs> you know, if you were doing regular ones and needed, like, something to show you exactly where to put it, this is, like, a good, a good option for that. Okay, so... Oh, I need to do my eyebrows. Eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows green because I'm, I mean, if I'm going to be totally insane, I might as well be totally insane. 
I sort of have high hopes that by the time I'm done, I look like Kermit the Frog. My eyebrows are like so dark, you can't even really see the green in them. It's like not visible. But okay, let's do some eyeshadow. This is, wow. I think my nose is what's really throwing this off. Oh my God. I'm like the dead version of the Little Mermaid right now. I'm like trying to debate whether or not I should attempt to do green eyeliner or if I should just like suck it up and do black. I've sort of come to the conclusion that green wasn't any better of a choice than blue. I still kind of look dead. <laughs> I'm like Stephen King's character from uh, Creep Show. Meteor shit. Did you guys like that movie? I love Creep Show. I used to watch it when I was a kid with my dad because he has like uh, bad ideas about parenting and thought that it was appropriate for me to watch that movie when I was like really little. Okay, I'm doing something about this nose because this is really concerning to me. <laughs> I can think, I think I can live with like everything else but this nose. Okay, that's less offensive. Still offensive, but slightly less. Slightly less offensive. I'm not even sure it's possible for me to do like a green eyeliner, but I'm gonna attempt to because I'm in this for the duration. It's eyeliner ish. Dear Revolution, I'm doing unspeakable things with your chilled palette. All right, I think that it's only fair that I should be able to use black for my mascara because I don't have any other colors. I'm definitely going to let my kids see this before I wipe it off though because they're going to be like, what the hell, mom? All right, so once again, I'm hitting a conundrum because I do not have any green lipstick. So, I'm going to mix some green eyeshadow with some lip gloss and see if I can, I don't know, create some kind of lip covering. Okay, but first, like, you know, it's so important that you line your lips. So <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do that with this eyeshadow. Oh, you guys, it's working. Okay. We've got like a green pout. It's my fish face. What I'm using to make this lipstick is like Buxom's Plumping Gloss, and I'm just going to mix some eyeshadow in with it and see what happens. Because I like living on the edge. I feel like it's so important to use a super bright green for this to complete my Kermit look. Kermit D. Frog here. Would you like to sing Rainbow Connection? Actually, my son does like this super crazy, awesome Kermit impersonation, which is so funny because he actually has this Kermit puppet and he just runs around doing Kermit voice all the time. I'm like, I know I'm his mom, but I can't get enough of it. I feel like it's so important to let our kids know that it's okay to be weird. Okay, so I feel like I've reached Frankenstein. Frankenstein's monster. I have to be correct when I say that. I feel like I've reached Frankenstein's monster levels of face makeuping. My tongue looks really pink. Anywho, that's pretty much it for like my makeup makeup. I just got to put some eyelashes on. Again, not going to be green because I don't have green lashes. I mean, can you get green lashes? Where do you get them at? Order them online. Amazon has everything. Not even sure like what do you call this dobby chic all right guys this is it this is our final all over green look what do you think do you like it do you want to wear it for halloween maybe i'm loving it i think it looks fun i mean i want to go out in public like this but it's something. If I went out in public like this, people would be like, oh my god, lock that girl up. She crazy. Anyway, guys, I hope that you had fun doing this full face of green makeup today. If you want to follow me and know when a new video is coming out, don't forget to click like and click subscribe. And until then, remember to always love yourselves, always be a unicorn, and I'll see you next time. 
Bye.